Ooh, that smell. Can you smell that smell? In today's video, we're gonna talk about the many smells that we as rideshare drivers are forced to experience because we're driving people around in a metal box. And stick around at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you my number one technique to combat the smells in your car. So hey everybody, this is Jay Crater, and today we're gonna to talk about smells. I'm gonna list out six of the smells that I find most offensive and then I'm gonna give you two strategies at the end of the video. So let's jump right in. Number one, farts. Yes, if you haven't been a rideshare driver, you may not know this, but people actually fart in your car when you're driving people around. And the funny thing is they usually act like they didn't do it. Uh, even though it's just you, the person in the back, and suddenly this cloud of fart uh, hits, hits your nose. The best thing you can do is, boy, roll down that window about halfway, <laughs> subtly move your head over, <laughs> and gulp out a few breaths <laughs> of clean air. <laughs> that's, that's my recommendation with the fart. Okay, number two is alcohol. Now, I don't drive at night, so I don't get a lot of that big, fresh, you know, alcohol smell. But what I do get in the mornings uh, people have been drinking all night is this kind of unctuous sweet smell that I can tell somebody's been drinking all night long um, or they had a, had quite a night of it and usually I'll say something like uh, so did you have a big night last night and they often wonder how I know uh, but they usually will start to tell kind of an interesting story uh, it's not really like I got to roll the window down so much uh, but it's a definitely a smell that uh, you want to kind of get it out of the car when the passenger leaves the car. Okay, number three are outside smells. I was having a chat with my brother Dave, who's driving for Uber in Chicago, and he was saying it's terrible when he goes over the sewer grates because that smell just comes up through your car. Um, in San Francisco, we have the bay, you know, the actual water, and when it gets to be low tide, it can really smell pretty bad too, certain parts of the bay. All you can do then is set your car so that um, it's not circulating fresh air from the outside and, um, and just drive away, get away from the smell. Okay, number four is aftershave and perfume. So uh, I find it's mostly men uh, in the mornings or before they're going out for the evening, they put on way too much aftershave and it can be quite offensive at times, especially if it's crap aftershave. Women, uh, they don't seem to put on a huge amount of perfume. Sometimes you get older women that have a lot. Um, but with the perfume, sometimes you'll get a smell that's just amazing, it's intoxicating. So two times I've asked the, my passengers, what is it exactly that you have on? And what you're seeing right here is uh, two bottles. The first one is called Bond Number no. 9 Scent of Peace, which was absolutely mind-blowing. And the other one is called Rose by Hermes for unisex. So highly recommend those two. Number five is marijuana and cigarette smoke. So in San Francisco, getting high, smoking weed, a blunt, a spliff is totally legal. And a lot of times we'll get passengers who just reek. I used to make jokes about it and say, oh, I'm getting a contact high up here. But no one seemed to really appreciate my humor. So I don't really say anything anymore. Um, I'll just roll the window down a little bit and definitely when they get out of the car, I will blast them. I'll blast the, where they were with osium just to totally eliminate the smell. Number six and my final and the worst one for me. Uh, the other, other week I had a woman get in my car. She was a short, stout, older woman and boy, she let out a belch, a burp that lasted a few seconds long. And then like a wave hitting me in the ocean, it was like this warm, chili con carne smell. And it was repulsive because I thought, where did that smell come from? She ate the food and went inside her and now it's coming out and it's all warm. And I don't know, it just grossed me out. And, uh, you know, I did the old open up the window uh, for that one. <laughs> I went full steam, way open. <laughs> and... Uh, that felt pretty good. Now, what can you do about the smells? Well, as I said before, um, osium is great, so that's one thing you can definitely do. The other thing that you can do, and this is what I wanted to share with you at the beginning, 
is get one of these, okay? This is called an essential oil diffuser and you can get it for about $20 on Amazon. And all you do is you open this, you pour in some water, pour in a little essential oil, I like to use lavender, and then you turn it on. And can you see that? See how that comes out? And it's just blowing out this amazing smell of lavender. Lavender is a very relaxing scent and my passengers love the smell. It's really been great. I think it helps with tips and it just gives your car a nice vibe. If you play jazz or classical music like I do, it goes right, right, very consistent with that theme. And it goes for about 30 seconds and then it stops. The colors change and then it goes on for another 30. And then when the car smells good, I just uh, turn it off. And you know, every hour or so I'll do a few minutes of it. So I highly recommend that. So in summary, you gotta take the smell of your car seriously because if you've ever gotten into a car where it smelled bad as a passenger, you know that ruins the whole ride for you. And you're not gonna, you're not gonna tip that, that, that driver. So have your car smell good. You want your passengers to get in and go, hmm, smells good in here. What, what is it you're doing? Uh, because then you've made your ride special and you're more likely to get tips. So I highly recommend getting this thing, an essential oil diffuser, and um, have a great day. So I wanna thank you very much for watching the video. If you have not subscribed yet to this YouTube channel for the, the Rideshare Guy, by all means do. If you're a driver of any kind, we cover industry news, tips, techniques, all things to make you a better and more well-informed driver. Come join our team. Everybody, this is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy wishing you a fantastic day. Be safe out there.